Hey guys, it's Malak, and uh, gonna be playing a game I have never played before, never seen any gameplay before for, <laughs> and it's really meant at sea. I have no idea what this game is. It was offered for free for PlayStation Plus, so I got curious. It looks cool, like the art style looks kind of unique, kind of cute. But I have no idea what this is. When I downloaded the game, it was really a small file. So I'm kind of curious to see how long it is too. So how do I, let me go, oh, back, what the, swap sticks, <laughs> what does that mean? Cross save, cross load. What is this? Oh, hey, wait, come back. Okay. So I can make the, the fish swim away. Let's go to the right. Got a message in a bottle. <laughs> oh, what's this? Calls one of the fishermen. Some kind of rubbish in the net. <laughs> that, that's my sound. Useless seed chatter grumbles the hasty one. Nothing on it but our own. Fuck. <laughs> one second. Nothing on it but our own island. So are we gonna explore and then fill it out? A map cast to sea without purpose. Must be more to it, argues the steady one. Okay, without pictures I have no idea which one's which, so I'm just gonna be reading. The brave one brightens. A mystery eye. Oh, that's a cute little design for the boat. I like that boat. Folks in the village may know something of it. We should head back. So we got these burly bearded dudes. Yeah, music's kind of fun. I wonder if I could, I'm gonna try and put the... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, now I'm down here. Hopefully this is enough out of the way that I won't have to worry about reading text. Oh no. Nowhere to go until we know where to go. Reason steady beard. <laughs> steady beard, what the fuck? <laughs> Little fishies. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay. Dead end. What's in this house? <laughs> I bet we can go into the one with the door. Hey, cut that out. Like those hats. Wow, those sound effects though. Ching, <laughs> ching. No, 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 no. Go back. Talk to him. Come on. Hey. Aren't you aren't gonna ask him where to go? Okay. Man, the controls are confusing. Like, L2 and R2 are how you go left and right. Go back.
Let's try this house. Ah, oh, this isn't a house, this is a barn. Brave Beard slides over to the chewing cow. You wouldn't know anything about mysterious maps, would you, old girl? He pretends not to wait for an answer. What do the chickens have to say? I guess that makes sense. That guy has a telescope. He's got to know where we have to go. Right? It definitely makes me think of like, um, children's storybook style. But I have no idea where this is going and if there's a moral to the story. What's this dude gonna say? Y'all be wanting a drink and a seat by the fire, I expect. The men cast a dubious glance at the tiny stools before complying with the shrug. Behind them proceeds a friendly whir of mechanical sounds. He's got his uh, little mugs. The old man soon approaches with a steaming tray. Single origin espresso. Roast him himself, he declares. They stare blankly. He sighs. Coffee. Relaxing. The men sip cautiously. Eyes widen. Now what you found? He chuckles at their stunned faces. Observation, that's all. Folks come in with questions and yours is plainly rolled in your hand. Steady beard grins. Aye, then you are the man we want to see. He unrolls the parchment between them. All lean in. The old man deliberates, deliberates for a moment before speaking. Hmm. Seems what you have here is the variety map of that brings out. Hmm, seems what you have here is the variety of map that brings about adventurous deeds and heroic feats. I, Brave Beard leaps from his seat to pound Steady Beard on the back. But there's nothing on it, remarks Hasty Beard flatly, eyeing the old man. The old man grins at his skeptical look. Aye, it's a worthwhile adventure that begins with the unknown. This map has tales yet to tell. He turns to walk away. Ho oh, there! What sort of tales? calls Bravebeard. Now, Bravebeard's a go-getter. That depends, replies the old man, on what sort you choose. He crosses the room, disappearing through a doorway behind the counter. Steady Beard coughs awkwardly. Neat. Guess we'll be going then. Uh, thanks for the suppresso, he tries. There's no answer. So... Zero sugar. Same great taste of Coke. Can we talk to Mr. Telescope? Also, oh, that's where the flute sounds are coming from. A sea chart, eh? The young man shrugs. Can't tell you any more than the old fellow with these landlocked legs of mine. Okay, let's let's go on a on an adventure, my bearded bros. Yeah, get in the boat. Yeah, the songs are pretty charming, and the sound effects. That's nice composition right there. Sea rats, remarks Hasty Beard squinting. What do you reckon they're after? Steady Beard frowns. I don't like it. Has the feeling of mischief about it. Mischief? 
Way. Grinsbury Beard. Loosing the sails. That escalated very quickly. It's dark inside the whale, but the men appear to be intact. A flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. Uh oh. Was like sirens or, or nymphs or something? Can't talk to them. Or maybe I can, I just need to find my bearded boys. Join us, friends. From whence do you come? Asks one of the nymphs. I was right. We were sailing for adventure and heroic feats when this colossal whale fellow scooped us up, explains Steady Beard. It's really very discouraging. A man can't properly have an adventure at seas indoors, adds Brave Beard. <clears throat> <laughs> Be calm, friend. Imagine the wave. Become the wave, advises the second nymph. The others exchange mellow glances, nodding approval. Can't say I follow the sentiment in that remark, comments Hasty Beard. But if you'll advise us how to hop off this vessel, we'll be on our way. The great barnacled one brings us to a place we could not go ourselves. But those unwilling may depart through the fountain of the faithless, adds the nymph, gesturing sadly towards what appears to be a hatch. There's a hatch inside the whale. And our ship can't, she can't fit through that. Fear not, once the great barnacled one reaches the place of promise, he will open wide the gate that all may go out as they came in. So either we escape with no ship or wait for the creature to open up his maw. The nymphs nod grandly. Time flows quickly in contemplation of the Great One's splendor. He who chooses the path of waiting is welcome here by the fire. I wonder how the whale feels about the fire inside of it. <laughs> Bravebeard's face shows his alarm. I think we'd uh, prefer to look around first. The nymphs begin to sway. But all is darkness beyond the circle of the Great One's love. You must first seek the enlightenment of. Found it, interrupts Hasty Beard, grabbing a torch from the fire before them. So, can't go right. Can you ever go up or down? I don't think so. So let's go left. It's kind of funny how they walk, like the, the back leg kind of bowing. So we got these barrels. A few barrels left empty by the morning's interrupted work now float free beside the boat. The men consider them in the torchlight. If I were the puzzle solving sort, observes Hasty Beard, I'd call that a solution. Aye, they'll float, nods Steady Beard, but not so well as our ship. Bravebeard scoffs. <laughs> what are we, landsmen? Arms and legs float well enough. <laughs> Doom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, get those back on. Hey. Oh. And um, can we? Not entirely sure what you guys are going for. You guys need to say hi to the nymphs in your new, your new outfits. You cannot await the place of promise clothed in this manner, friends, or is it? The nymph shudders. D departure you seek. Escape, I'd call it. Growls Hasty Beard. We're feeling mighty faithless. There's gasp from the nymphs. 
Then you must go at once, step through the door behind us, and pull the cord to summon the fountain, but... The barrel-clothed man takes steps to evade the remaining conversation. <laughs> That's enough from you. So we gotta pull... Pull a cord. But there's something we should know. Hmm. Where, where is this cord of which you speak? <laughs> uh, can we hop in the water yet? Because we have our little floaties, right? What's this? It's quite a sound. It's a sphincter thing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's a uh, blah, blah thing. Hastybeard is fiery with excitement. Summon that fountain and let's be off. Bravebeard grumbles eloquently from his barrel. Citybeard looks worried. That's cool. That's a nice little graphic they had going there. <laughs> I just got the achievement wooden trousers. But we left our boat in there. Tiring, the barrel clothed men settle back to drift with the current. May as well see where this takes us, observes Steadybeard bleakly. Time passes. Bravebeard begins to snore ra raucously from behind. Time passes. Raucously. That's a good word. Ruckus? Or is it ruckusly? Like when they're like, you're causing a ruckus. Huh. I'll have to look that up. Should I wake him up? I don't know. Anything? Well, that's the way we... Uh-oh. That looks a lot like the, um... The boatman on the, uh, is it called the River Styx? Ship ahead. The shout wakens Bravebeard, who eagerly overturns his barrel, resurfacing a moment later to cough it out. It begins. Oh, it's totally the dead dude. <laughs> what the devilry? exclaims Hasty Beard. Oh, I like his little skull face. That's so awesome. The grim cloaked uh, figure clothed. The grim cloaked figure clears his throat as he approaches. Greetings. Please climb aboard for your complimentary trip to the afterlife. Do you guys have soda and peanuts? Ah, well, replies Steadybeard. Thank you, but uh, we'd prefer the long way. There's a long silence. The figure is masked, but the men feel distinctly that he is sulking. At last, he heaves a desolate sigh. You do not willingly forfeit your souls, he pleads. It is quite painless, and I would at last be promoted from this apprentice issue rowboat. <laughs> He's trying to get promoted. I don't think that's a mask. I think he just might be a skelly. Another silence follows. Then, he continues despairingly, there must be a race. At this, Hastybeard's face cheers significantly. Oh, Hastybeard's quick. Speed is key, and Hasty Beard has got it. Maybe you would be so kind as to lose. No, of course not. <sighs> he sighs again deeply. We race through the cliffs of despair, he explains mournfully. If the three of you pass me at any point, I lose. 
If I take the lead, however unlikely, I don't lose. Meaning you win? I had not thought of it that way, but I suppose that would be the case. Yes. Without waiting to confer, Hasty Beard sets off, paddling furiously. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh no. Don't give up. Oh, is he supposed to win? Oh, I can slow him down. <laughs> is that cheating? I just held him back. That's definitely cheating. But I guess he did just want to kill three burly, burly little men's. My burly men's because uh, he just wanted a, a better boat. Really very sorry for scuttling your promotion and all that, Offer Steady Beard. Eh, it's not so bad, tries Brave Beard. You have a boat, and that's nice, scary mask. <laughs> Is he like holding his face? He's like, ow, oh, no, not again. I do have a nice mask, sniffs the muffled voice. <laughs> Great, well, goodbye, calls Hasty Beard, paddling away. The others join him. And you, uh, well, we just came from the left, so let's keep going right. It's a good thing they got hats. You guys are going to get a wee bit sunburned. After a time, the men begin to notice something strange about the setting sun. Ah, oh, shoot. No matter where I put... Let's try... Oh, please, hopefully this is good enough for this spot. After a time, the men begin to notice something strange about the setting sun. Its course seems to be drifting gradually left. Never seen the sun move like that, Bravebeard muses aloud. What's it up to? Steadybeard looks worried. I have a feeling it's more serious than a wayward sun. Did you note the wind? Can't seem to make up its mind. Aye, far worse, replies Hastybeard. It's a current we're caught in. And a mischievous one, by my reckoning, adds Steady Beard, his voice growing more tense. We're drifting in a circle and faster by the minute. Brave Beard's shout names their fear. Maelstrom. What's a maelstrom? Is that just a bad storm or what does that mean? A whirlpool? Oh no. <laughs> From high above, the water's accelerating swirl is unmistakable. The men paddle furiously, but the widening vortex is inescapable. They are carried deeper, thrown against the rising wall of water. Uh-oh. Hey. Hey. Uh. Uh-oh. Am I supposed to be doing something? Can I stop this? I'm supposed to be doing something. This is a pretty cute kind of representation of a whirlpool, though. Sorry, guys, I don't think I can help you out much. Whirling faster as it narrows, the maelstrom swallows the barrels and drags the men from them into the deepening darkness.
Where are we headed, guys? Oh, we got these fishies. Oh, it's a narwhal. Aww. Whoever designed those jellyfish, good job, that's pretty cool. The music's pretty fun. <laughs> well met, bearded travelers. The voice is deep. Musical. Whoa, what are you? Mm, hello, stammers Braybeard. Odd, the absurdity of underwater speech only adds to the wonder apparent on his face. You've seen much this day, she continues, smiling. The men nod, unnecessarily. Yet, you have not seen all, she peers at each of them. Other paths lie untrodden behind you. If it is in your hearts to seek these paths, another day awaits. Hasty Beard clears his throat nervously. <clears throat> Pardon my interruption, ma'am, but... We've no longer any vessel with which to seek them. Lost at sea she was. The silvery laugh ripples the water around them. You have traveled far without her, have you not? But do not be troubled. That which is lost may yet be found. May we meet again at the end of another path. Inclining her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips silently away into darkness. In the quiet that follows, the men find themselves still sinking. A little crab. Oh no, we're going this way. Kind of cool how the beards bob when they walk. Stranded on a, a little island. Why is the rum gone? Why is the rum all- Puffins! Yes! They're so cute! Can I- What happens when I- Oh, I love puffins. It's like the perfect blend of like a parrot, a seagull, and a, a penguin. Parrot, seagull, seagull, penguins. And it- they have a pretty decent cereal called Puffins that I liked when I was a kid and it had it had Puffins on the front of it so I loved it these little red cheap cheeps big ol' moose the moosin the moosin is scary don't mess with them let's get out of here it'll mess you up See what's in this house. Oh, is it the dude with the drinks? F 
thought you'd find a way to that door eventually, the old man greets them. The familiar has a way of making itself new when you look at it sideways. Never seen that part of the island before, I'd bet. The men shake their heads. Still at the map? He questions. Sevy Beard nods, silently pla passing it to him. Oh, so this is some of the stuff we saw. I see you managed to find those adventurous steeds. And did you meet her? Aye. Bravebeard is first of the brothers to speak. Magnificent she was, like the shawarm of old tales. I don't know the... The do not... There's a siege character, Nock or Nook. I'm not sure how you say that letter. Um, I'll be looking it up later. <laughs> of old tales. But she told us we've more to see. Ah, it'll be there when you're ready for another go. The old man gestures to the books. Those shelves are full of tales like yours, and all with paths left untrod. There's a twinkle in his eye. I even contributed a few in my time. You see, he continues, what's left unwritten in one story can fill others. If you've the inclination to sail again, have another look at the shelf. Burly men at sea, steady beard, reads aloud. Not a bad title, that. But what's all this numerical business on the spine? And how did... He gives them a sly look. That's another mystery, if you've the curiosity for it. And one last thing, continues the old man. I don't mind telling you now that I was the one who sent your bottle to sea. I have another to be tossed out for the next curious soul. Will you do the honor? Good job, guys. <laughs> the little icons are cute. This is pretty great. Um, it's cute. It's kind of fun. I mean, the kind of like theme of adventure and how they've, like, um, how the journey is the treasure kind of thing. How you're literally hunting. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did they just credit the font Roboto? <laughs> I saw Roboto down there, maybe I, I was reading that wrong. But yeah, it was it was cute. I kind of wonder if anything special happens if you manage to get everything on the map. Like, I'm kind of curious about that. Because there's the... Whatever that thing was underwater. It's a quiet adventure by Brian. Brain and Brain. So these are the, the next really dudes are the same ones. So I wonder, how can I look at the map again so I can see how close I am to getting everything? Oh, it's still just continuing. She's come back to us, explains Hasty Beard. I'm more lovely than we left her. Courtesy of Barnacle Transport Service, Incorporated, reads Steady Beard from a notice on the side. Why, that great blubbery bellyache did us a good deed. I think this might be my favorite song that's in the game. I imagine it was a pretty fun one to record too. So it's those birds again. Shoot, now I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do different things to get different outcomes. Is it just a matter of going left and right, or... Let's not even talk to them. Let's see what happens when we go off. Oh, not gonna let us do that. Can I just grab the fire? Not sure what that... <laughs> oh, or am I supposed to talk to a different nymph each time? Be welcomed. Wayward Pilgrims, speaks one of the nymphs. 
For who can resist the majesty of the great barnacled one? So it is that we awaited your return. No, I just literally had to come here. Hard to resist when you're sucked down like a clam and stew, growls Bravebeard. Yeah, I feel that. The Great One journeys this way daily, so that through him, all may one day find the place of promise. Predictably, the nymphs trade nods of approval. So is there one option where I just, like, sit in the whale and, like, end up where they're going? Through the digestive tract, that's, what I, that's where they're going. Will you wait with us here by the fire? Or is it the way of the faithless you seek? Hasty beard does not give an F. So maybe if I click on the fire now, we'll wait by, we'll wait with them. Maybe we try talking to them. Gotta get those different paths. The men fidget for a moment. A steady, a steady beard clears his throat. <clears> throat> If you don't mind our intrusion, we'll wait here with you fellas. Sit, friends. For those who follow the Great One, there is no mind. Interesting way to say that. Aye, that's plain, grins brave beard. The three men sit. There's a silence, and the nymphs begin to speak in turn. Within the Great One, the Great One encircles us in the circle of all things. The Great One's kindness is as genetically modified potatoes. The men begin to nod off now, catching only pieces of the nonsensical exchange as they fall into a deep sleep. Biodiversity. Final stop, please exit through the front with your belongings. <laughs> Let's see what this uh, promised land is that the whale brought us to. Alantanarsi dalla linea gialla. Those long haired imps let us sleep through our stop, complains Hasty Beard as they sail out into the sunlight. Brave Beard merely shudders. May as well see where it is we have stopped anyway. Got some, some trees, maybe pine trees. Kind of look like leaves on their own with those veins. What happens to the left? To the right? This is another fun one, but I think the other song is still my favorite. Hmm. So, sort of an island. Can we talk to the trees? Nope. Maybe this bird is special, because there's only one. Or maybe I can climb on the vine. Let's see what you have to say. Uh oh. It's a golem. Great lumping land rats, exclaims Bravebeard, edging away. Stop. The voice is deep and aged as the earth itself. Men and rocks stand staring at one another. Moments pass before the creature speaks again. You are small. Something about the naive, naivete. Is that, is that naivety or na naivete? Naivet? I have no idea what that word is. <laughs> of the statement seems to ease the men. Maybe it just means like adolescent in innocence, kind of like naivety. It's got the little like exante guru. Whatever it's called. You're rather large yourself, tries Bravebeard hesitantly. Thank you, rumbles the small mountain simply. <laughs> Would you like a flower? I am quite good at flowers. 
It's like that one kid that learns how to origami that one thing. They're like, would you like a, a cootie catcher? I'm quite good at those. Oh, we don't want to be a bother, begins Hasty Beard. In fact, but the creature is already turning. He's gone. What are we standing on now, though? Or maybe I will fetch three. Rumbling happily to itself, the geological oddity thunders away. The men breathe sighs of relief. Whew. That's it. <laughs> okay. Has the island changed in any way that I can interact with? Hopefully he didn't uh, step on my boat or anything. Are we not going to wait for his flowers? I have done it. I have fetched a flower. The men turn reluctantly from the enticing safety of their boat to face the returning earthquake. Gently, the massive stone fist places before them what appears to be an un, an upend, upended, like it's obviously like a tree that's been uprooted, appended. I've never used that word. Appended tree. Seeing all sorts of new words, this is cool. Oh, why thank you, gushes Hasty Beard, elbowing the snickering Brave Beard. What a nice flower! The big creature beams. Makes me think of, um, the Iron Giant, Steve. And he, <laughs> he like, takes the modern art and just smashes it down and it's kind of like this like fancy tree thing and he's like, mm, you're really good at, at this trash art thing. So should I keep interacting with the... Oh, sorry about that. The creature's soul shoulders slump, dejected. It has wilted. You know, I think I saw another on the far end of the island, suggests Steady Beard. Why don't you go? I will fetch it. Brightening, the mountainous being turns once more to thunder away. Ah. Uh, or maybe three, Hasty Beard calls after him, grinning. Quick, while we've a chance, he adds in a whisper, leading the way to the boat. Oh, it forces me to... I was gonna say, can I just go back to him? I, I'd feel so bad. Just... Oh, the poor rock guy. Quite good at flowers. I earned that achievement. I guess we should probably keep going right. Or maybe look left. Uh oh. Is that a storm brewing? I don't like the looks nor sound of that, worries Steady Beard over the distant rumble. Rather be fetching flowers with that walking rock pile on dry ground. Could I have gone back? I feel kind of bad about the rock guy. He's like, <laughs> looking for little gifts, and we just ditched him. Oh, that's kind of cool with the rain sound. On cue, a shower of rain tumbles over them. Suffering squid livers, howls Hasty Beard, will be sunk. They bail furiously, but the downpour is relentless. Jeez, your guys' boat can't be in the rain? That doesn't sound like a very good boat. Through the eerie gray, they seem to hear the faint keening of wordless song. It is the Halo theme song. Honestly, the Halo theme song is so iconic. Uh oh, sirens. 
I'm actually not sure if there's a distinction between the term for mermaid and siren because someone once told me that like in an Italian um, mermaid is like sirena or something like that I think so like when you say mermaid you're just saying siren there's that sculpture of um, the mermaid where is it? Denmark? I don't know I wonder if that's a good siren, or a good mermaid, or a bad one. Not gonna interact with them? Ba, ba, ba. Oh, I can go left and right. Shoot, I wonder how many options there are, because every time I go right, does that also mean there's an option to go left? <laughs> the lightning sound was kind of cool. A flash of lightning suddenly illuminates their surroundings. Women folk, yells Bravebeard. There are women folk in the water. His shout is followed closely by a splash as Hastybeard jumps in. A little hasty, okay. <laughs> of all the kelp headed halfwits, a second splash halts Steady Beard's analysis of the situation. Hmm. Sighing deeply, he dives after them. <laughs> Finding the dark water empty, the men quickly regret their course of action. You just got stood up. Bum, 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 bum. Where are we going, buddies? Oh, are we going back to the uh, sea creature under the deep blue? And she's going to be like, You still have not gone through all the paths. You have not uh, gone left and right enough times. I wonder how many adventures you can get. Because, I mean, that, that map isn't that big. But maybe you can just fill it chock full of a ton of icons. Glub, glub, glub. We meet again, bearded travelers. You have sought new paths this day, she smiles. The men nod unnecessarily. Yet still others lie untrodden behind you. Her gaze is deep, searching. It is well, for you bear the look of those who would seek them. May we meet again at the end of another path, inclining her glimmering head in farewell. The creature slips silently away into darkness. Are we going back to the island with the door? I wonder if the old man is going to have something more to say. Oh, what is... Oh, that's right, we have to walk with the crabs. Let's go, little buddies. Okay. Oh, that's right. We get to see the little puffins again. Oh, 
uh, one of the places I was, we did see... I mean, there was the one little red bird on the rock, but I think we saw... Did we see the red bird somewhere else? I can't remember. I wonder if you see all those different things maybe somewhere in a different adventure, so it's kind of like... kind of a reference to your adventures if you take the specific path that takes you to those places. The old dude here? Yeah. Had another go, did you? The old man greets them, smiling. Well, let's see it. Um, hi. He sighs. Beautiful, that is. Wait. Did they even add that much? Oh. So you get four interactions, it looks like. I wonder what the numeric codes are for. As they turn to the shelf, he nods. I'd wager there's room for more up there. Dang, so are you gonna fill up this whole shelf? Holy crap. All right, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Pretty fun so far, like the music. A lot of the little designs are really cute. It's very simple, but it's also uh, pretty in a lot of uh, segments. It's pretty charming. It's not like laugh out loud hilarious, but they called it, I, I think a quiet game or something, which it is, it's kind of like a subtle, Nice, charming, kind of quiet game. It's pretty relaxing. It's cool. Um, I'll probably be back at it. Trying to fill up the bookshelf, I guess. Because that's maybe our goal. And I'm curious to see what happens when you do. And again, I don't know anything about this game. I don't even know how to save. So, I'm going to be figuring that out. And until then, uh, I'll see you on the next one. And please bear with me for any of the words that I don't know or the letters from... Uh, other languages that I don't know how to pronounce. I'll work on that. Uh, take care and I'll see you guys on the next one.